Hello, I'm Dr. Ming Wang, and I'm here to tell a story. And through the story, I want to ask one of the life's greatest questions: Are faith and science friends or foes? In today's world, faith and science are often at odds with each other. For example, regarding stem cell and fetal wound healing research, faith dictates that we should leave the embryo and the fetus alone and should not conduct such research. In contrast, science says we should. If we follow our faith and do not conduct such research, then how can we face the patients who are suffering from illnesses for which stem cell and fetal wound healing research may present the only hope for treatment? If we do conduct research on stem cell and fetus, how can we then have the peace with the thought of destroying the life of an embryo or a fetus? Are faith and science truly incompatible or at odds with each other? Which side would you choose? Sixteen years ago, we found ourselves faced with an agonizing situation of having to answer this question. We were conducting corneal wound healing research and found that, in contrast to an adult eye which scars after injury, resulting in the loss of sight, a fetus can actually heal without scar. As an eye doctor, I really want to help my patients restore their sight. But I was also struggling with my moral conscience and faith. How can I take life away from an unborn child? We agonized over this dilemma to the point that we were at our wit's end, and I nearly gave up on the whole fetal wound healing research project. There just seems to be no solution at all. I asked God. James 1:4 says, "Let perseverance." Finish its work so that you may be mature and complete. I needed to know that it was going to be a long and arduous journey. That the right solution is often the most difficult one. We began looking at this problem from different angles and perspectives, and stumbled upon the amniotic sac, a casing which holds the baby before the baby is born and is disposed of after the child is born. Is it possible the amniotic membrane may in fact contain the ingredient of scarless fetal wound healing process? Excited at this possibility, we began a series of experiments. Finally, after 16 years, we succeeded. Today, eye doctors throughout the world use the amniotic membrane contact lens to cover injured eyes, to reduce scar, and to restore sight. Amniotic membrane contact lens is a powerful example which shows that, in fact, faith and science can indeed work together. Through the study and use of amniotic membrane, we gained a better understanding of the scarless fetal wound healing process, which benefited adult eyes and helped restore sight. All these without touching any part of the unborn child. My name is Ming Wang. And I do believe that not only faith and science are compatible and can work together, but also it is through uniting them rather than splitting can we actually find a new, unexpected, and more powerful solutions to the problems in our lives.